concerning the body of Christ in terms of mission, bringing the light of the gospel to people, groups, and regions, is there still an overthrowing of the principalities going on? It seems there is a back and forth struggle in this country and many other areas, even while the gospel expands. What is the relation to the church and the powers and principalities today as you see it? Well, there was a back and forth struggle in the book of Acts, you know, in the days of the apostles. There was lots of persecution. So I, I don't really see the circumstances as any different. Uh, as the body of Christ, kingdom of God expands, the kingdom of darkness shrinks. And there is an ebb and flow. There is a back and forth. But I think there's also both biblically and I think historically, there's also a, a, a an inexorable, gradual increase of one, the kingdom of God versus uh, the other. And, you know, we, we look at, you know, we tend to look at our own circumstances. We tend to look at tragedies or terrorism or whatever it is. And, and, and so that, that thought in the isolation that it is in tends to color our perception. But I think, you know, we, I think that's a mistake. I mean, I think the perception, or at least the wording of the question is, for my taste, a little too focused on this country. But of course, you know, that's the country you live in. That's the perspective you're going to have. So it's hard not to do that. In other words, I think it's a little too focused on the church that we sort of see or that we're aware of. But the church, again, the, the, the kingdom of God has been expanding for decades. And, you know, if, if you go all the way back to the apostolic era, it's for millennia. But let's just take our own day and age. The church has been expanding for decades elsewhere, outside of America. Asia, the, the, the church is just uh, exploding, both both in terms of, you know, the, like, well, let's just take China. There, there's the visible church. And, and again, you, you can't be cynical and say, well, no one who's in a, an, an official church is really a Christian. Well, I, again, that, that's an overstatement. Talk to some missionaries in China and you'll realize that isn't true. But the underground church, again, has, has grown exponentially. And it, it has in many of these, you know, dark places, whether it was Eastern Europe under the, under the Soviet regime, uh, you know, the Middle East even. I mean, you, you see churches popping up with, with frankly, acts like, you know, miraculous sorts of things happening to, to kickstart it and propel it. Africa is another case. In other words, outside of the U.S., where it's easy to sort of view that the church here is kind of stagnant, doing lots of other things except for evangelism. I mean, again, it's very easy to, to look at the situation and sort of think that way. And I, th I think even that is a little too jaded. But outside of beyond the shores of America, uh, there are places globally, you know, where the church is, is increasing dramatically. And it's still under persecution. Again, I don't see the situation as being much different than it was in the, in the days of the apostles.